Hello, my name's Chip Espinoza, and I'm author of Managing the Millennials, Millennials at Work, and Millennials Who Manage. Managing the Millennials was the first book I wrote, and I was very interested in how managers were experiencing millennials in the workplace. They had certain perceptions about millennials. Here are some of the things they perceived them to be. Self-absorbed, defensive, abrasive, so kind of pejorative terms. And so I looked at that and I said, are there some people that manage that see them differently? And if they do, are they more effective than others? But the research showed that all managers pretty much perceive millennials in the same light, but the way that they responded to them was very different. And so those people that were effective in managing millennials saw them the same way, but yet they knew how to break down that tension and those barriers. And so that's why managing the millennials is critical to organizations because people leave managers, not organizations. So if you have a great relationship between manager and millennial, the odds are you're gonna be able to retain them and put them into the leader development pipeline. Well, as a result of managing the millennials, uh, millennials at work, I thought, well, you know what's gonna happen here? If millennials are perceived in a certain light, then it means it's gonna create particular challenges for them. And sure enough, as I did research internationally with young professionals asking the question, what is the biggest challenge about transitioning into the workforce? They came up with a list of 10 things. At the top of the list, you would imagine lack of experience. Of course, it's their barrier to getting where they want to go, the raise, the promotion, those kinds of things. But there were some other things that I found out, like miscommunication with older workers, the desire to really connect, but yet feeling that their opportunities to communicate came off wrong or even like they're perceived abrasive. Another would be a lack of patience. Another would be getting helpful feedback. So Millennials at Work really is a book that outlines the challenges millennials face in transitioning to work and what they could do about them to overcome those roadblocks in their career. Now, it's a perfect book for that millennial to read and say, this is why I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing at work. But also, if you coach or mentor millennials, it's a wonderful book to have to understand, anticipate the challenges they're gonna face in the workplace. And then of course, uh, my most recent book is Millennials Who Manage. And the reason I wanted to write this book is because I wanted to give back to that population who gave so much to me to help them get to the next level of their career. So I went out and I did research to find out what is it, what are the challenges that millennials face when they move into management? Well, I'll give you a couple of them right off the top. One is a redefinition of relationship to their peers. There's a loneliness to moving into management. Many of them who got promoted felt sad afterwards because they realized they were no longer being invited to go out and have a drink after work or to socialize with people who had been peers of theirs. And so that loneliness created them sometimes to really change their management style. On one side, they might be more harsh on their peers. The other, they might be more lenient. But understand that dynamic. The other relationship dynamic that changes is relationship with your boss. You don't want to disappoint the person that promoted you. So sometimes you manage with your intuition on one shoulder and then your boss on the other shoulder and you have this inner dialogue and where you want to do what you believe is the right thing to do in the situation, you fear disappointing your boss. And so for all of us in leadership development, you have to understand that eventually you're going to disappoint somebody, but you have to be authentic to your own leadership voice. And so the three books really outline in the workplace, managing millennials, helping build that relationship. Number two is helping them understand the challenges they're going to face and how to overcome that. And the third one is really helping them develop and move into that leadership pipeline. Now, coming out May 2nd, Managing the Millennials, second edition. I've added international data to that, and also some of the coaching stuff from Millennials at Work. I hope that you'll pick up all three of them. I know you'll find them interesting. Thank you.